Hello, hello, I'm Bella and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick follow-up video from yesterday's, I know it was a touchy one for some probably. I'll leave a link in the description for it if you haven't seen it. It's about spirituality and politics, very touchy, but it was necessary to talk about. And I wanted to first mention that I think I was talking about Ivanka Trump, like, but I was thinking of Melania Trump, so I was just getting names confused. But I mentioned Ivanka for a reason, and so I feel that she's going to be doing something very important in her lifetime that's going to move the country forward in a good direction. But yes, what I wanted to talk about and follow up on was certain energies uh, within the reading. I had picked up on Aquarius energy as well as a the Divine Feminine getting more into power. And the epiphany that came to me, because what I was kind of talking about is like, how can our nation move forward with certain policies? And because spirituality and politics go hand in hand, to anchor our connection to God, to bring in heaven on earth through policies. And I thought like, how could that happen? How is this shift going to occur? I don't know when it will occur, but then the out of the box idea came to me. It's like, has anyone proposed, because we have a one leader system right now, has anyone proposed having a two leader system? So you have a male president and a female president, both equal in power. I think that would be the way to move forward. That way you have representation for both genders and they're both equal. So ideally, in my opinion, the way that could work is if it's like a, an awakened divine couple. So you have the man fulfilling his role of being the defender and looking over the defense of the nation, looking over the economy, the business aspects, um, the foundation, the infrastructure, whereas you have the divine feminine overseeing the social issues, the communities, having more of that nurturing energy with her, overseeing the arts and sciences and innovation. I think that would be a good balance because you having one, a man, because I mentioned that the president's job and in, in the current system is a man's job. It's just too much. It's too much for just one man to do. So it would be easier, from my point of view, to have a two-leader system where you have a man and a woman, even if they're not a couple, as long as they're equals. They have equal power. They get along well. They're not competing for power. Again, they're in a heightened, awakened state where they're stable within themselves and they serve the people. That's the system I believe we need to move towards. Now, is that against the Constitution? I believe that a Constitution, I haven't fully read through the Constitution yet. I started reading it not long ago to understand, as well as the Declaration of Independence. It's like you learn the stuff when you're in school, but you know, you forget about it. So I was just refreshing myself. And I think you can evolve the Constitution without losing the core values of the Declaration of Independence, because the what it struck me, which I loved about the Declaration of Independence, was we have our God-given right to live life with liberty, freedom, and in the pursuit of happiness. That's the American dream. So you don't lose that core value, but you can still evolve the system. That's just my two cents on that. But I wanted to get some pulled cards. So with that kind of epiphany, if that was implemented, how would things move forward? And it goes internally as well. Like internally, the way to move forward is to have a balance with your masculine and feminine energy. One can't overrule the other. It's like even if you have more of a dominant of one energy, you still move forward with taking action with a balance of both. It's like you still shift between both energies within yourself. 
But yeah, moving forward, if we did that, just prosperity. Look at that. Emotional fulfillment. I love that. It's just more heartfelt, sincere. Yeah, get the, to have the fulfillment of being like if there was an equal balance of power with a male and female leader, they would have that emotional fulfillment to serve the people, which is lovely. But yeah, a complete transformation would have to occur for that to happen. Because <sighs> I've been feeling if we're not on the verge of a third world war, which currently we are, but if not that, it's possibly a civil war. I really hope not. But some transformation has to occur. And transformation can be very tumultuous. But you have to look beyond. So beyond, yeah, just movement, just more feminine energy coming through. Come on, focus, there you go. <laughs> With the Queen of Swords, yeah, being open and sincere, but ruling with an iron fist. Yeah. Being strong, yet compassionate. And then moving forward with the Eight of Wands here. Yeah, so I'm like looking beyond like a possibility of where we could be in the future. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, a lot of people have to overcome the shadow. There is a spiritual war going on. The people in power don't want us to have our connection to God. So we have to fight back and stand strong with our beliefs, no matter what faith you follow, what path you follow. Because we have the ace and the hierophant here. So I see that faith is going to win. Again, it's spirituality and politics go hand in hand. It, it really is a spiritual battle here. But yes, faith will win and will be prosperous. Is there anything else that we need to know for this quick little follow-up? No, I think that's it. Just, uh, yeah, it was just that epiphany of having, possibly looking into having a two liter system for every nation. That would be amazing. But again, you have to come from an elevated space to get rid of the ego. So you are, you're fulfilled yourself. So then you can be in service. To others which is even more fulfilling that is the road to go down to go forward all right i hope that gained some clarity from yesterday's reading and i will see you next time Bye bye